Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm really great. Thank you. Nice. Good, good. So today we are going to uh, do our first final class of the week. So this is the the last class of this week. We are going to, um, for first of all, ask everybody, how is everybody doing in the platform? Um, have you finished some exercises? Everything is fine. Any comments, any questions? Everything fine. Actually, I started the first time that we have classes. I started to, to, to make the exercise in the platform. Very good, nice. Yeah. Um, I cannot get into the platform. Really? Uh, yeah. Do you have an error or what do you think is going on? I don't know. Um, I, I introduced my, my email and password and the next page is to inscribe in the in a level group, but I can't select anyone. Okay. So, hagamos una cosa. Uh, mañana, o más tarde, o cuando pueda, eh, tómele un screenshot a lo que le sale y me lo manda. Mándelo, no lo al grupo, sino que a mí directamente y lo vamos a, lo vamos a revisar, okay? Okay. Thank you. Any other person have problems with the platform? Okay, anyways, we're going to check the first uh, section. Okay, we're going to start checking about the platform right away. Uh, okay, the first one is a 1.0 less, less an objective. Um, Elvis, could you please help me reading this objective? Okay, by the end of this class, you will, you will be able to talk about your past using was, where and various regular and irregular verbs. Example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I Good evening. didn't speak English. Good evening. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions past tense and get to know people. Okay, perfect, thank you. So that was the first objective. And then of course we have a little video about simple pass of the verb to be, right? So um, I guess everybody has done that one. And then we had the first knowledge check. Any question about this knowledge check? No questions. No. Claro como la horchata. So. We're going to uh, continue with a 1.3 lesson adjective. Um, Edwin, could you please help me read in this subject? Okay. Uh, by, the end, by the end of this class, you will be able to make positive and negative statements. In the past tenses using the verb to be, additionally, you will be able to talk about your background in English. For example, explaining where you were born and when you came to the United States. This English conversation skill will help you introduce yourself and respond to questions using correct English grammar. Perfect, thank you. And then we have the, uh, the little explanation, right, about simple past, nice. Of course, uh, we have a knowledge check, 1.5. Uh, do you have any question about this knowledge check? No oh. question. Okay, good. Piece of cake. Then we have 1.6, a lesson objective. Please, uh, Margarita, could you please help me reading this one? Margarita, are you here? Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh Will English conversation skills with these lessons on past tense questions practice uh, uh, tense forming practice forming past 
tense questions using the verb to be by asking, uh, I need to move this. Okay. Um, person about his or her background, for example, <clears throat> you'll be able, where you born is in this city, uh, where were you born, when, when were you born, and how old were you when you came to this country by the end of this lesson? You'll be able to ask and answer yes or no questions and WH questions using was and where. Thank you very much. And then we move on to the uh, little uh, explanation, the little video, right? After that one, we have a knowledge check. Questions with this knowledge check? No. Okay. Then we have 1.9 objective. This is going to be for, let's see, Lorena. Yes. Um, build English conversational skills with the trust used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form a statement, negative and short answer with used to. I learned, uh, I, I earned English phrases like I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I'm very near. And I didn't use to follow uh, politics. Po politics, uh -huh. but now I read the newspaper every day. And oral English comprehension, com, <laughs> comprehension, comprehension, comprehension. <laughs> so what is the pronunciation? Comprehension. Comprehension, comprehension. Exercise is included. Perfect, thank you. Then we have the grammar, the video for grammar and uh, the uses of choose to. And we have the knowledge check that is uh, the 1.11. Questions about this knowledge check? You're very good, nice. Then we have 1.12. That is going to be for uh, Marilyn. Okay, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, for English conversation with calls with the phrase, used to we, used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to pour questions, assignments, theories, and short language with used to learn English class life. What sports do you use to play when you were a guy a kid? Did you did you use to collect things when you were a child? And what did you use to do for fun when you were a kid? Very good, thank you. So that was very thank interesting. You. And then we have the video with the explanation with the questions in this too. And then we have the last knowledge check of this section. Any question about this knowledge check? No teacher. No teacher. No okay, questions. it seems every, everything is fine except for Margarita, but we're going to check tomorrow. So we're going to start with the little homework that we have for today. So the question is, who wants to be the first one? Si alguien no lo hizo, lo puede hacer en vivo y en directo, ¿no? Tiene que hacerlo leído. Um, eh, me. Me. Okay. Uh, okay, please go. Go ahead. Okay. Um, last year, I finished my university studies and... Uh, I prepare the the process. I start the process to get my um, uh, title. How I can I say it? Title. My title. Thanks. Or you can say also mayor. Oh, okay. To get my mayor and uh, start the. Um, 
and start the uh, uh, specialization course, which your which um, was stand for nine months, and I finished. Um, I I didn't get out many times because of the virus and uh, I I went to the hospital to um to bring my mother to from some exams and I I I had to take care of my brother's dog, which is uh, um, um, a very old dog, a very, very old dog. Okay. <laughs> yes. I celebrate my dog's um, 17th year. And I went out to some um, restaurants with some aunt a few times last year. Okay, thank you very much. You did a lot of things, eh? nice. <laughs> yeah. Very good, thank you. Uh, who wants to be the next one? Hi, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Uh, I ate in the morning. She ran in the park yesterday. My brother washed the car last Sunday. My father spoke yesterday with my, do my daughter. My daughter bought chocolates only. Thank you very much. Who wants to be the first one? Uh, the next one, I'm sorry. Okay, please go. Well, in January, I worked in a steel factory, but I left the job in February because in March, I will start my study at the university. After starting classes, my life was busy. Every day I watched the class in my lab. I was very bored for the situation. And two was my college year. In December, I traveled to the beach with my friends. Also, I traveled to Ataco, Guayua, and now we start going with my friends. And my in my last year ended when my best friend gave me a PS4. Very good, very interesting. Eh? Nice. Thank you, Gerardo. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. But I did my homework on how we live uh, 2020. That's good, nice. Okay. In 2020, I lived very special moments at the time of the panic crisis of the pandemic, pandemic, mm -hmm. because I enjoyed my role as mother and wife for the shared moment like eating together, which in a normal times was difficult. I learned to make typical dishes that I never thought to make like pupusas, torrejas, bread with chicken. But also I had sad moments because I had a irrepar irreparable loss, the COVID. My Nana, my second mother, took the COVID. Uh, 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 it was in, in expert, uh, inesperado. I'm very sad that I still feel that emptiness in my heart. Finally, I can say that Isa was a blessed year because I enjoy and keep my job in, time, in times of pandemic. We have everything we need, food, health, work, uh, and one year's emotional growth because the loss of my second mother. Only that. Okay, <laughs> we're really sorry about your loss and uh, yes. well, we need to move on. Thank you for sharing. Okay, um, sure. Who wants to be the next one? 
Um, me teacher. Okay, um, go ahead. In the last year, I was working until the pandemic. After dismissal, I was at home with my daughters and my grandson, helping them to study. Uh, a little sick, <laughs> I'm, I was a little sick, but I took my time to read and learn other activities such as painting, craft and cooking. Uh, a lot of cooking, <laughs> uh, um, other, um, uh, other things new for me. Only this. Very good. Thank you very much for sharing. Yeah, I guess cooking is it's in this last year and this year is something that we have done. I have learned lots of things to cook, so it was good. <laughs> yeah. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, the last year was a different, difficult and blessing year for me because beside the pandemic, my family and I are helpful. For the pandemic, I must to change the form that I used to live. For example, I used to go to the supermarket and buy food and other things with can. But the last year I went and bought with the fred to be contaminated for COVID-19. Um, so I prefer to stay at home and bought by online, clean the house, the house, read the book, enjoy, spend more time with my family. Uh, during the quarantine, I took time to soak myself and what I did in my different um, areas of my life. And I usually go to my office to work and in the pandemic, I work at home. Very good, thank you very much. So you did lots of things, nice. <laughs> Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Um, the last year, and uh, first of all, I worked um, during quarantine, and because I worked the company pharmaceutical and made the products, um, also, I celebrated um, birthday my son. Um, Christmas, I stayed with my family. Only that. Very it good. It was a little okay. year. Oh, year. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Thank you for sharing, Marilyn. And uh, who wants to be the next one? Me. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, the last year I had the opportunity to celebrate my birthday. Why? Because on March they announced the quarantine. So I had I had a, a look I'm considering myself like a lucky man, right? Good, yeah. I had the I practice with any subject I have math, then I practice language. I, I, I want to uh, I to learn another language that is that is Russia. Russian I try to, to learn time. Then I practice how to play the piano and then I plant I planted some trees on my house and then I play yes. I try to put on my Facebook wall Oh, it seems he got disconnected. Okay, 
but he was very busy, right? He did lots of things. <laughs> okay, uh, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, please. Yesterday, I I can't uh, in the class because my war yeah. and last years uh, was difficult for me because I lost my job uh, for the pandemic. However, uh, however, uh, I think uh, the I did. Uh, good things, for example, my family. I learned new things, and I took time for myself. Very good. Yeah, oh, sometimes yeah. it's necessary. Sometimes it's necessary to, yes, to have yeah. time, right, and yes, to yes. be closer to your family. So sometimes that is the most important. Yes. Good. Important. <laughs> okay. Thank Thanks. you for sharing. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Go ahead, please. Mm, the last years, at the beginning, we celebrated celebrate my mom's birthday. Then come the quarantine. 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 And I work at uh, part time during the quarantine. Um, I got sick in June from the virus, but my family did not. Yeah. Um, then we started again to go attend a church and we celebrated Christmas with my family. Very good. Thank you for sharing. That was interesting. And the good thing is that you are healthy right now. Thank you very much. Um, who wants to be the next? I still have some people that haven't shared. Hello. I want to share. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't do too much last year. I worked from home. Uh, for a while, but when the president suspended the quarantine, I have to back to the site. I was afraid due to the virus, but I took different steps to avoid it and take care about my family. And like uh, I used to take a um, shower every day after I, I arrived to home. And also we, as a family, we avoid to visit another members of my family, but we try to keep in contact with them. So that is how was my year. I actually, I, I just work and work every day. <laughs> I didn't enjoy the quarantine actually. Okay, okay. Well, the good thing is that you're healthy and your family as well. So that's nice. Yeah. That's okay, uh, who's missing by now? Uh, let's see. Um, Nicholas. Yeah, uh, I didn't do math last year too, uh, because I was studying at the university. Uh, I just think it was a bit weird to receive class online, but Anything of that, all normal. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, is there any other person missing? Lorena, did you do it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. I Creo que no haya falta entonces, ¿verdad? Okay. That's good. So we are going to continue. Let me see how much time we have. Yeah, we have time. So we're going to continue with the practice of the class that we have for today. We're gonna to start with a little reading that I have for you. This is a very interesting story and of course it's about simple past tense. So what we're gonna do is this. Uh, I'm going to say and you are going to repeat. Then we're going to do these exercises that we have here. 
And then we're going to check vocabulary and then you are going to read. So let's see first the questions. Here, this part, it says a uh, true or false. So number one says two years ago, Matthew and Fiona went on holiday to Greece. Number two, they stayed in a big hotel. Number three, one day Matthew went for a walk. Number four, on his walk, Matthew found a mountain goat. Number five, the stray dog which it still. Number six, the dog went back to its owners. Number seven, Fiona liked the dog and she gave it something to eat. I'm sorry, wait. I'm sorry, excuse me. And then uh, number eight, the dog didn't eat the food. Number nine, it sat outside their front door. Number 10, at 9.30, it started raining and so Fiona let the dog eat indoors. And we have a few more here. When the dog came indoors, it sat beside Fiona on the sofa. Number 12, they called the dog Hilda. Number 13, Hilda stayed outside on the garden. Number 14, Matthew and Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. Number 15, the rescue center had a place for Hilda. Number 16, they transported Hilda to Spain. Number 17, Matthew and Fiona paid a fee of 200 uh, pounds. Number 18, now Hilda lives with Matthew and Fiona. Number 19, they treat the dog very well. Number 20, they love their dog. As you can see, some of these questions, without reading the uh, paragraph, I guess you know the answer. But let's find about the other parts, okay? So let's repeat everybody. Last summer, Matthew and Fiona went on holiday to Spain. Last summer, Last summer, summer Matthew, Matthew and Fiona, and Fiona went, went to a holiday, holiday to, to, Spain. to Spain. They stayed in a small cottage. They stayed, they stayed, stayed in, in a small, small cottage. cottage. One day, Matthew went for a long walk. One day, One day Matthew went, went for a long walk. He found a dog. He found, he found a, dog. a dog. It was lost. It, it was, was lost. lost. It was a stray dog. It, it was, was a stray dog. dog. It wedged its tail. It wedged its tail. It followed Matthew home. It, it, it followed, followed Matthew, Matthew home. home. Fiona liked the dog and she gave it some food. Fiona, Fiona liked the dog, dog and she, she gave it some food. food. It ate the food very quickly. It, it ate, ate the, the food, food very, very quickly. quickly. It sat down outside their front door. It, it sat, sat down, down, down outside, outside their front, front door. door. At 10 p.m. it was cold. At, at, at 10, 10 p.m. it was cold. cold. Fiona let the dog inside. Fiona, Fiona, Fiona let the dog let inside. The inside. It sat beside her on the sofa. It, it sat beside, beside her, on her on the sofa. It was a girl dog. It was, it was a girl, girl dog. dog. They gave her name. They, they gave, gave her name. name. Hilda. 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 Hilda stayed in the garage with them. Hilda stayed in the garage with them. Six days later, it was time to go home. Six days later, it was time to go home. Back to England. Back to England. Back to England. Back to England. Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. Sadly, they had no place for Hilda. Sadly, Sadly they, they had no, place, had no place, place for Hilda. Hilda. But they offered to help. But they, but they, offered, they offered, offered to help. To help. They transported Hilda to England. They, they, they transported Hilda to, Hilda to England. To Fiona, England. To Fiona and Matthew's house. To, to Fiona, Fiona and Matthew's house. house. Fiona and Matthew paid the dog rescue people a fee. Fiona and Matthew, and Matthew paid the dog, dog rescue people a fee. 
the fee was 500 pounds. The fee, the fee was 500, 500, 500 pounds. 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 Now Hilda lives with Matthew and Fiona. Now, now Hilda, Hilda lives, lives with, with Matthew and Fiona. And Fiona. She and sleeps Fiona. on the bed and eats pedigree chum and nice dark biscuits. She, she sleeps, sleeps on, the on the bed and the eats pedigree chum, chum and, and nice dark biscuits. Nice nice Matthew takes her for a long walk every day and she sits on Fiona's knee in the evenings. Matthew, Matthew takes her for a long walk every day, every day and she, she sits on Fiona's, Fiona's knee in, in the evening. evening. Matthew and Fiona love Hilda and Hilda loves them. Matthew, Matthew and Fiona and love Hilda and Hilda, Hilda loves them. them. Perfect. So for first of all, let's do the exercise. Number one, two years ago, Matthew and Fiona went on holiday to Greece. Mm. False. 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 They went to Spain. That's good. Number two, they stayed in a big hotel. False. 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 One day, Matthew went for a walk. True. 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 On his walk, Matthew found a mountain goat. False. 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 The stray dog wages tail. It's true. 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 The dog went back to its owners. False. 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 Fiona liked the dog and she gave it something to eat. True. 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 The dog didn't eat the food. False. 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 It sat outside their front door. True. 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 At 9 30, it started raining and so Fiona let the dog indoors. False. 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 Number 11, when the dog came indoors, it sat beside Fiona on the sofa. True. True. They called the dog Hilda. True. True. Hilda straight outside in the garden. False. 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 Matthew and Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. True. 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 The rescue center had a place for Hilda. False. 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 They transported Hilda to Spain. True. Uh, true. 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 Actually, it's false because they transported Hilda to uh, England. England. Oh, yes. okay. Good. Okay. The next one says Matthew and Fiona paid a fee of 200 pounds. False. 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 Because 500. Yeah, it was 500. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 500. I remember. Uh, then and now Hilda lives with Matthew and Fiona. True. 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 They treat the dog very well. True. 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 And they love their dog. True. 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 Nice. Now we're going to check some vocabulary here. Uh, well, here I have a question for you. What is a goat? Do you know? God. Number four. Mm -hmm. Um, goat is cabra. Very good. In English. It's an animal that lives it's in the mountains and things like that. Right. Good. Okay. Let's check some vocabulary here. Last summer, Matthew and Fiona went on holiday. What is a holiday? Do you remember? Mm. Celebration. Day is special. Celebration. Special, special day. Special day. Like the first of May that is coming or Holy Week. And then it says they stayed in a small cottage. What is a cottage? A house. I'm sorry. A little house. It's like a little house. Some it's very common that these houses are on the woods, on the forest, right? That is made of wood and things like that. So a small cottage. Uh, then says he went to long who found a dog. It was like, it was a stray dog? What is a stray dog? It's a young house dog. Yeah, it's, it's a. a, a a dog that is like lost, that is like, we don't know who is the owner, right? And then it says it washed its tail. What is washed? I'm sorry? It's, it's like move. It's like move, the tail, right? Do you know what is the tail, right? What is the tail? 
It's the extension of the vertebral column of the animals. Good, that is a good one. So it's the one on the back that we don't have, the humans, right? <laughs> and then he said, it followed Matthew Humph, you know, like the dog and she gave it some food, it ate the bird. Let's see what else. Uh, what else? Dog inside, the sofa, a girl dog. Um, Cut out six days later. The rest is uh, sadly. Um, what is sadly? It's something yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. That's yeah. sad. That yeah. is sad. Yeah. Unfortunate. Good. And then it says help, scooter, Fiona. Fiona, let's see. Okay, and this one is 500 pounds. That is the, the coin, the currency of England, right? Pounds. Uh, let's see, sleeps in the bed. Pedigree chum, you know, that is like the food for for ducks and uh, the biscuits, I like little crackers for, for ducks, right? Uh, let's see, uh, what is knee? Fiona's knee. Okay, good, that is it. It's like the feet. Uh, yeah, it's like... Like yeah, when you are going to bend over, uh, it's like the ones that you bend, right? So, something like that. Okay. Uh, and I don't think there is any other. Do you have any other question about vocabulary? Not teacher. Okay. <laughs> We're going to read then. Uh, the first one to read, let me see what time is it to see how much it's going to read. Uh, it's going to be Arely. We're going to split the reading in two parts. Uh, Arely is going to start from last summer and is going to finish where it says home. It was time to go home. Then the next person is going to start back to England. Oh, well, actually that is not good, right? Uh, yeah, back to England, that is fine, that is fine. Okay, Arely, please start. Oh, I guess you're in mute. Sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Last summer, Matthew and Fiona went on holiday to Spain. They stayed in a small cottage. Uh, one day, Matthew went for a long walk. He found a dog. It was lost. It was a stray dog. It well. Its tail. It followed Matthew home. Fiona liked the dog and she gave it some food. Food. It ate the food very quickly. It sat down outside their front door. At 10 p.m. it was cold. Fiona let the dog inside. It sat beside her on the sofa. It was a here though. They gave her a name. Hilda, Hilda stayed in the cottage with them. Six days later, it was time to home. Okay, perfect, thank you. Next is going to be Margarita. Hello, Margarita. I guess she's not here. Lorena Bermudez, please. Uh, back to England, Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. Sadly, they had no place for Hilda, but they offered to help. They transported Hilda to England to Fiona and Matthew's house. Fiona and Matthew paid the dog rescue people a fee. The fee was uh, 500 pounds. Now, Hilda lives with Matthew and Fiona. She sleeps on the bed and eats pedigree chum and nice dog biscuits. Matthew takes her for a long walk every day and she sits on Fiona's knee in the evening. Matthew and Fiona love Hilda and Hilda loves them. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Madeline. Spain, the first. Yeah, please. Okay. Last summer, Matthew and Fiona went on holiday to Spain. 
they stayed in a small cottage. One day, Matthew went for a long walk. They found a door. It was locked. It was a child door. It worried it still. He followed Matthew home. Fiona locked the door and she gave some food. I ate the food very quickly. He sat down outside their front door at 10 p.m. It was cold. Fiona let the door inside. He sat beside her on the sofa. It was a girl doll. They gave her a name. Hilda. Hilda stayed in the cottage with him. Six days later, it was time to go home. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the next one is going to be Elvis. Okay. Back to England, Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. Sadly, they had no place for Hilda, but they offered to help. They ported Hilda to England to Fiona and Matthew's house. Fiona and Matthew paid the dog rescue people a fee. The fee was 500 pounds. Now, Hilda lives with Matthew and Fiona. She sleeps on the bed and eats pedigree chumps and nice dog biscuits. Matthew takes her for a long walk every day and she sits on Fiona's knee in the evenings. Matthew and Fiona love Hilda and Hilda loves them. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Edwin. Last summer, Matthew and Fiona went to, on holiday to Spain. They stayed in a small garage. One day, Matthew went for a long walk. He found a dog. It was lost. It was a stray dog. It wedged its tail. It followed Matthew home. Fiona liked the dog and she gave it some food. It ate the food very quickly. It sat down outside their front door. At 10 p.m., it was cool. Fiona let the dog inside. It sat beside her on the sofa. It was a girl dog. They gave her a name, Hilda. Hilda stayed in the garage with them. Six days later, it was time to go home. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Sui. Back to England, Fiona took Hilda to the Ruski Center. Sadly, they had no place for Hilda, but they offered to help. They transport Hilda to England, to Fiona and Matthew's house. Fiona and Matthew paid the dog rescue people a fee. The fee was 500 pounds. Now, Hilda lives with Matthew and Fiona. She sleeps on the bed and eats pedigree chum and nice dog biscuit. Matthew takes her for a long walk every day and she sits on Fiona's knee. In the evening, Matthew and Fiona love Hilda and Hilda loves them. Thank you. The next one is going to be Gerardo. Last summer, Matthew and Fiona went on holiday to Spain. They stay in the small cottage. One day, Matthew went for a long walk. He found a dog. It was lost. It was a stray dog. It waited. It followed Matthew home. Then I liked the dog and she gave some food. He ate the food very quickly. It sat down outside the front door. At 10 p.m., it was cold. Then I let the dog inside. It sat beside her on the sofa. It was a girl dog. They gave her a name, Hilda. Hilda stayed in the cottage with them. Six days later, it was time to go home. Okay, thank you. Next one is going to be Hilda. Okay, teacher. Back to England, Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. Sadly, they had no place for Hilda but they offered to help. They transport, transport, transported Hilda to England to Fiona and Matthew's house. Fiona and Matthew paid the dog rescue people a fee. The fee was uh, 500 pounds. 
Now, Isla lives with Matthew and Fiona. She sleeps on the bed uh, and eats pedigree chum and nice dog this week. Matthew takes her for a long walk every day and Chase sits on Fiona knee in the evening. Matthew and Fiona love Hilda and Hilda loves them. Thank you very much. <laughs> Next one is Joanna. Last summer, Matthew and Fiona went on holiday to Spain. They stayed in a small cottage. One day, Matthew went for a long walk. He found a dog. It was lost. It was a stay, stray dog. It, it waged its tail. It followed Matthew home. Fiona liked the dog and she gave it food, some food. It ate the food very quickly. It sat down, sat down outside their front door. At 10 p.m., it was cold. Fiona let the dog inside. It sat, be, it sat beside her on the sofa. It was a girl dog. They have, they gave her a name, Hilda. Hilda stayed in the cottage with them. Six days later, it was time to go home. Thank you. Next one is uh, Flora. Back to England, Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue. Sentry. Sadly, they had no place for Hilda, but they offered her to help. They transported Hilda to England. To Fiona and Matthew house, Fiona and Matthew uh, pay the dog rescue people a fee. The fee was was five hundred pounds. Um, now Hilda lives with Matthew and Fiona. She sleeps on the bed and eats pedigree, chumps and nice dog. This quit. Matthew, Matthew takes her for a long walk every day, and she sits on Fiona, Fiona's knee in the evening. Matthew and Fiona love Hilda, and Hilda loves them. Perfect. Thank you. Next one is Nicholas. Last summer. Matthew and Fiona went on holiday to Spain. They stayed in a small cottage. One day, Matthew went for a long walk. He found a dog. It was lost. It was a stray dog. It wagged its tail. It followed Matthew's phone. Fiona liked the dog, and she gave it some food. It ate the food very quickly. It sat down outside their front door. At 10 p.m., it was cold. Fiona let the dog inside. It sat beside the hair on the sofa. It was a girl dog. They, they, they gave her a name, Hilda. Hilda stayed in the cottage with them. Six days later, it was time to go home. Thank you. Uh, I guess everybody read. Marilyn, did you read already? You read already, right? Okay. No, don't worry. If you did it, that's fine. I guess everybody has read, right? Yeah. Um, I think I missed. Okay, go ahead, please. From back to England. Back to England, Fiona took Hilda to a dog rescue center. Sadly, they had no place for Hilda, but they offered to help. They transported Hilda to England to Fiona and Matthew's house. Fiona and Matthew paid the dog rescue people a fee. The fee was 100 pounds. <clears throat> now Hilda lives with Matthew and Fiona. She sleeps on the bed and eats pedigree champ and nice dog biscuits. <clears throat> Matthew takes her for a long walk every day and she sits on Fiona's knees in the evening. 
Matthew and Fiona loves Hilda and Hilda loves them. Very well, thank you very much. Okay, so this is a very good exercise. We are going to try to do it here in class, but you can do it as well. Uh, there are many ways that you can do, I mean, uh, since you are intermediate, you are going to look for readings that are not that basic, but not so complicated. Um, you are going to find lots of vocabulary here, and uh, it's a good thing for you to practice also and check uh, how the people they write in English, because then in the future, you are going to learn that as well. So it's a, a good approach. So you can start on that one. Before we move on, is there any question? No, okay. no. Good. Let's continue then. So this is very easy. It's a review of count nouns and non counts. Um, as you remember, count nouns can be used in plural form. That means that you are going to use an S in general. It's not for everybody. I mean, for example, do you remember what is the plural of fish? Fishes. Well, actually, the plural of fish is fish. fish. You don't say fishes. fish. Fish. Okay. So uh, the rule is not for all the nouns, but the in general, uh, the um, the uh, count nouns are going to be with an s at the end. Also, it can be used with definite articles like the, the animals, mm -hmm. uh, the keys. Okay. And also can be used with indefinite articles like a or an, of course, when this is singular. For example, Paul bought a key at the store, a key, because that is count noun. The students went to class. So that is for the count nouns. For the noun count, we're going to usually, these are not expressed in plural, usually, right? Not always, but usually. Cannot be used with indefinite articles like a or an, not possible, okay? So that is very important. So for, for example, music, you don't say a music, it's not possible, okay? Uh, can be used with definite article, that is possible. And uh, can be used without an article. So that's, for example, for music. I listen to music. No, and music, it's not possible. We listen to the rain during the storm, okay? I guess this is very, very easy, right? So do you have any question about this? No. Okay, the next is uh, quantifiers. The quantifiers are words that we use to quantify things that are not possible to quantify or to emphasize the quantity, right? So we have here a few of them. For example, many, many or not many. This is for an count nouns, right? Uh, this doesn't say here, but it's for count nouns. Um, so remember that when you use many, the noun is going to be in plural, many cigarettes, a few cars. A few is not many, just a few. Remember that that is also plural, a few cars. Very few trees. So very few is less than a few. Very few trees, just some of those, okay? Fewer books, that is like comparative. We have fewer books than last year. Who can say that? Several, do you know what is several? That is. Yeah, it's like some of them, more than some, right? Several answers. Both, what is both? Two. 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 Yeah, when you take into consideration both, two of the people that you're talking about, both parents in this case. Each boy, what is each? Everyone. Each, one by one, right? Every time, that is very easy, every time, okay? And then we have on the other side, we have uncountable. So we have much, 
That is like many, but for noun counts. A little, that is like a few, but for noun counts. Very little, that is like very few. Less, that is like fewer. So this is for noun counts. And also we have uh, another one that we can use with both. Like some, we can say some money, that is noun count. We can say some uh, oranges, that is countable. Um, well, there is another one that is some X. Not any water. So remember that any, we use any for negative and for questions, right? Do you remember that? Do you have any sugar? No, I don't have any. You can do that. The other one is more or the most, comparative or superlative. This is with both. More oranges, we can say that. Okay, more or most people is possible. All or no, okay, all the work or no work at all. Have you seen that one? Have you listened to uh, when somebody says at all? At all is like zero, nothing, right? Uh, so we can use that with countable and non-countable, like no work at all or no children at all. Then we have enough. Enough is like we don't want more, right? It's enough. Enough food enough apples, okay? So any questions about these quantifiers? No. No questions. Okay, good. Okay, and then we have a little bit more of other uh, explanation. We have other quantifiers here, a majority of. So that is something that we can use with countable. Probably uh, some of these words are when you don't want to repeat. I mean, sometimes they mean very similar to other words, but if you are writing, for example, something, you need to find a way not to repeat some words. So a majority, a number of, that is also very popular. Several is very common. Many, a large number of, so that is like a lot, right? A few or just few, very few as we say, or a great number of. On the other hand, we have also um, much a bit. Do you know what is a bit? A little bit, they say. It's a small quantity, right? A bit is very small, a bit, okay? A great deal of, that is like a lot. So you can say a great deal of politicians are going to lose their job in these incoming days, for example. A large quantity of, that is very similar, large quantity. Or a large amount. Do you know what is amount? Quantity. Yeah, it's like quantity. Very good. So a large amount of. A little or very little or little only also. And we have this one that are, as we say, we bought enough, all of them, more, most, less, least, that is superlative, but uh, in a way for you to say that is less than other. No, none, do you know what is none? It's like nothing. No one, no one at all. No one. Any, not any, some, plenty of. Do you know what is plenty of? No. It's no. like uh, very much. Yeah, plenty of is like several. Plenty of. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to buy plenty of uh, apples for our party, for example. Lots of. So those are like the ones that we have for this one. Questions before we continue? No questions. No teacher. Only study Okay. And then we have, um, well, I guess it's almost time. 
but we are going to practice a little bit, okay? What can we use for the first one? It's a question, of course. Which quantifier can we use for that? How much? Many. many. How many? How many stars many. are? That is a key, right? Are are there in the sky? And the next one? Many. Many. Many as well. How many, How many people? people live on island? The next one. You uh, many teacher? You can say that. Um, yeah, something like that. Many. There are many birds or a few birds. Next one, water. A lot of much, 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 a lot much. of good. Much. And with uh, the next one, Thank money. Much. 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 Good. Countries. Uh, do you know how many countries are there in the world by any chance? Plenty. Plenty. That is good. Good answer. Okay. Uh, for bread. Much. Much, that is much. Do you have an idea on how much bread is eaten per day in El Salvador? <laughs> A lot, right? <laughs> A huge amount. Do you believe that uh, people in El Salvador, uh, do we eat more bread or more tortillas? Mm, both. A lot of tortillas. Okay, okay. Yeah, that is a very good question. Uh, bones, how many bones are there in the human body? What do you think? Um, 2034, I think. Something like that, okay. I read something interesting that when you are a baby, you have more bones. Did you know that? No. Yeah, you can read I, that. I remember something like that. Yeah, it's because when they are babies, for example, in the head, uh, the yeah. bones are separated. The, the fontanelle and the huh? is is more pieces there. Yeah, so that is very interesting. I didn't know that one. Uh, it's how, because the brain is getting bigger, and as as the time is learning different things. Very good, Imagine. Very interesting, right? Yeah. What about sand? Um, much, 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 much. How much sand is there in the desert? A lot, right? Like we can't say that. And the last one. Much, mm. much information is much. How much information is there in, in the, what do you think? How much information do you believe is there in the internet? Billions mm. and billions. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of information that is is not good, right? It's not real, it's not true. So we need to be careful. That's like um your information. Yeah, that is something totally different. Okay, my friends. So this was the class for today. Uh before we finish, do you have any question? No, no teacher. No. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. we are not going to see each other these days until Monday. So I hope you have a very nice weekend. Uh, sleep tomorrow, you are going to sleep early and uh, <laughs> have a fantastic night. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, see you on Monday. See uh, you on Monday. Monday. Sorry, you. Bye bye now. Uh, teacher, uh, what time is good for you to, um, to do the that thing for the platform? Uh, as, I mean, what you can do is you can take the screenshot of what is showing to you. You can send it via chat during the day. I mean, starting 9 a.m., I'm going to be ready for that. Okay, thanks. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye now. Bye, good night.
Good night. Good night. Good night.